The 4th of July right on the corner, official kickoff to summer, vacations are in full swing. You need to know how to protect your skin. Spending time outdoors, ooh, this is really important stuff here. Yeah, so we got someone to walk us through some of her top sunscreen so picks. Excited. Not just someone, not just anyone. We have board certified dermatologist Dr. Whitney Bowe and a friend of the show, of course. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me, you guys. Can we start with this? Do, how much, before we get into the product, how much to put on? Because we all see those folks, and maybe we've been guilty. They have this thick white they just put so much on. Does that help at all? I love those people. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Those are my people. <laughs> okay. So when we're thinking about a general rule of thumb, if you're thinking about the face and your neck, you want to aim for about a half of a teaspoon. But if you're wearing a bathing suit and you want to cover your arms, your legs, your chest, your back, then you want to go for the ounce, the shot glass full. <laughs> but guys, that's just the first application. Okay. You know, you got to reapply. Right. If you're out in the sun and your skin is dry, you want to reapply every two hours. But if you're swimming, if you're sweating, you actually want to reapply even more than that. And oh. sunscreen's not enough. Broad rimmed hat. I'm sorry to be the buzzkill, Dr. Jen. She's <laughs> like, oh, man. I, I, I always feel so good when I do it once in the morning and then... It's the reapplication. It's the reapplication that's, that's yeah. so important. But, but a hat, sunglasses, and you want to seek shade, especially when the sun is at its peak in the middle of the day. All right, so now you've got some of your favorite products for us. So tell us what you like and why. Okay, so for the face and neck, one of my favorites is by Elta MD. It's called UV Glow. And this one, it's actually mm. a mineral sunscreen, but it's got a tint. And you can see that when you do rub it in, it does tend to blend with most skin tones. This one also has an ingredient called niacinamide that helps prevent breakouts. So my patients who tend to break out from their sunscreen, they love this yeah, one. I love this one too. I use the untinted one and I've seen a big, big improvement. Yeah, yeah, it's excellent. Another excellent one for face and neck, especially for my patients who have dry skin or sensitive skin, is this one by Skin SkinCeuticals. It's called Physical Fusion UV Defense. The reason that I love this one for dry skin or sensitive skin is because it layers very well over moisturizer. And if you have dry skin, you, you want to really break that into two steps. You want to first apply a fragrance-free moisturizer, then you want to apply your sunscreen. This one, watch this texture. You want to shake it up really well before you apply it. It's going to get a little messy, so be careful. Okay. So you do want to, oh, see, yeah, got a little messy well. right away. But you can see it's a very lightweight fluid. And a lot of sunscreens don't layer well over moisturizer, and this one does. Again, this one blends really well with most skin tones. So should the, you mentioned the order, should the sunscreen be the last thing you apply? Cleanse, vitamin C serum, moisturizer, sunscreen. And, and then, then makeup, makeup oh. if you're gonna be wearing oh, makeup. Oh, wow. All right, now what about the water resistant, waterproofed, is right. that even a real thing? And so what do you like So if you're headed for... to the beach, to the pool, one of the ones that I love is by La Roche-Posay, it's called Melt in Milk. This one is water resistant up to 80 minutes. And as you said, there's really no such thing as sweat proof or waterproof, right? But this will give you some peace of mind if you're swimming, if you're sweating, because it does have that added protection if you are in the water. All right, now, of course, a lot of people going out, the families, the kids, uh, any particular type of sunscreen for kids and maybe even the younger ones, even the babies? Right, so, so babies up to six months, we don't really recommend that they use sunscreen. Yeah. They shouldn't be in direct sunlight, so really want to keep them in the shade. But for six months and up, this one is one of my favorites. It's by Think Baby. So this one, so you guys remember those first two that we talked about? Those are mineral sunscreens, but they had a little tint to them. This one does not have a tint. So if you can take a look here, camera can see that one. So it's, it's kind of white. It takes a little effort to rub this one in, right? So it's a little bit annoying, but as a mom, sometimes that's a good thing because yeah. your worst fear as a mom is that you're gonna miss, miss. an entire, you're gonna have this streaky sunburn down your kid's arm. And so this sort of leaves a little bit of a trail. You know where you've been, right? All right. And Whitney, what about, we've talked before about how people of all skin tones, all skin colors need to apply sunscreen. Yeah. How important is that? It's, it's so important because, you know, people, first of all, melanoma is incredibly deadly in skin of color because people often wait too long. They don't think, oh, I have melanoma, so they don't get it checked out. And so unfortunately, a lot of the melanoma fatalities 
are actually in people with skin of color who don't even think to protect their skin or go for early detection. Also, when it comes to skin of color, the sun can make dark patches darker and last longer. So if you're somebody who's prone to acne and you get like a pimple and it goes away and it leaves a dark mark, that's something called post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. That dark mark's gonna be darker and it's gonna last longer if you're not protecting it from the sun. So for even for, for vanity's sake, right? right? For cosmetic reasons, it's good to protect your skin no matter what color your skin. You talked about reapplication and you've got two products here for that very purpose. I do, and actually this one um, goes back to what Dr. Jen was saying. So Color Science is actually a powder sunscreen. I don't love powder sunscreens for the first application, but I do love them for reapplication. So what I would do here is you just brush it on and it goes right over makeup. And if you get a little bit oily in that T-zone, a little shiny, this is great because it sort of mops up some of the oil too. Comes in four different shades, ranging from fair to all the way to deep. So you're gonna find one that matches your skin tone. And this is one that's getting a lot of love on TikTok. So this is Shiseido. This is a chemical sunscreen, which we know chemical sunscreens are a little more cosmetically elegant. So that goes on completely invisible. You can't see it at all. Easy to travel with. You throw it in your pocketbook, in your beach bag, and you're good to go. Dr. Bro, this is incredibly important information for folks right now, so thank you for walking us through it. Always good to have you here, friend of ours, friend of the show here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Bo. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here, so go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.